Hey folks, welcome back to uh, Flea Market Guy 777. We're at a local antique shop. Um, we'll go ahead and uh, get you guys some information on a location here at Central PA. But um, I've got permission to go ahead and just show you guys around some of the awesome things that are here. And um, we'll be picking up a couple of things as well for, for personal collection. But um, <clears throat> I wanted to just give everybody a heads up again. Um, this is uh, the flea market guy, 777. And uh, I also have an additional YouTube channel called All Things Prophetic. And for those of you that are interested in a lot of uh, teachings, uh, biblical teachings and understanding, you're welcome to come over to All Things Prophetic and, uh, you know, to some of you or to the to the person that had the ridiculous comments that they were putting on the other channel. Um, if you've got nothing else better to do, um, I would just uh, let you know that, um, well, you're just going to be uh, banned uh, from the channel if you continue to leave the sarcasm and uh, make it become a distraction for those of us who love coming here and looking at the awesome little things that we can uh, we can enjoy and collect and buy so I'm doing um, just a quick browsing of some things that uh, are of interest uh, to me and things that I know that I can uh, even buy to uh, flip to make uh, make a profit on. But uh, I wanted to um, follow through with the the comment I made yesterday about uh, letting you guys know I was going to be stopping at a local antique shop. And uh, so here I am. I am looking at some really really nice things these these cans these are really nice nice uh, oil and gas cans it looks like they're priced real close to retail but uh, that does not mean that you can't come to a place especially with quality items like this and can't find something worth adding to your collection or you know even something that you may want to buy um, to maybe flip now, many of you know, um, I've stated that I have, um, actually, I took down a video that I did earlier yesterday uh, due to uh, the poor quality of the recording. I'm going to try to edit it and then repost it. But, um, uh, yeah, so so there's some, some things that you can, uh, you, can buy, you can buy and then collect and then resell. And... Uh, Trying to find, okay, here's some similar bottles. Not not as quite as nice as mine. Uh, there's a lid. I need a lid. That's a lead lid. Let's see. That's three dollars. That's a lead lid. These usually go to the bowl. Those bowl glass. And I have one that's blue. That I need a lid. So I'm going to buy that lid. Um, there was a point I was just trying to make, um, but I guess it wasn't worth the effort to make it. But, um, yeah, there are a lot of things that you can you can find and buy. And, um, you know, you could uh, sell. Uh, okay, that's where I was going. I, I actually have a booth at an antique mall. And a lot of the things that I usually find good buys on, I usually bring there to sell to profit, to take, you know, to make money. It's a side, you know, side business. <clears throat> Seeing that I was a business owner for most of my life, having my hands in some kind of a business was always uh, something that is very, for, very easy for me, for me, very, um, very easy. And so, oh, look at that. 
Look at that, it looks like it fits. Oh, no, it's too, too big. So anyway, uh, yeah, I was trying to say that that um, many, many a times um, I will find, oh, look at all those nice ball, those ball jars. That's $3 for the whole thing. This person wants a do $3 just for that. Oh, I think I'm going to buy this instead. That's what I'm going to do. So let me, yeah, I'm going to buy this because this is $3 just for this. So I'm going to put the other one back. So, but I know I don't want to do too long of a video, so I'll just do a rough, a rough uh, uh, viewing of some of the things that are here. And um, I'll try to do it in segments because uh, one, I don't have a whole lot of battery left and the other is this place is big. And so, um, if you guys see something, um, let me know. If you have interest in it and you want to know about it, <clears throat> um, let me just make it clear that um, for those of you that do or don't know, I've been a collector of uh, sports memorabilia since I was, well, if truth be told, since I was probably 10 years old, 9 years old, um, I was very serious with my my baseball card collection and it grew into other things hot wheels trains toys um sets planet of the apes um uh six million dollar man uh long ranger tontos uh a lot of different things and as i got older my collecting knowledge uh increased dramatically and even while i was a general contractor um as i traveled uh many parts of the East Coast into Manhattan, I would always stop at antique shops, stores, malls, and buy. And so, yeah, so that's uh, you know a lot of my background. If many of you have questions about something, uh, you know, feel free to. Fifteen dollars, that's worth it. See, this is uh, this is what they call bake light, folks. This brown plastic is Bakelite and there's a missing piece of glass over the over that dial otherwise this would be really in mint condition and very you know all were well, uh, worth the $15 so I kind of wanted to walk away a little from the woman there and talk a little bit about the ridiculous individual that made a comment um, about uh, being uh, false or trying to self-promote uh, the channels, uh, folks. I'm not hiding anything. Okay, if 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 somebody's got that much wickedness in their heart to manifest against the prophet, I would be careful because you know, um, I'm not so sure you want to be downwind of any any harsh words that uh, that I would be speaking. So I would I would rather you understand how foolish you sound and uh, really understand the condition of your heart that you would want to uh, lash out at the prophet or man or the word of God. Uh, you might want to find something else uh, in life that uh, could occup uh, better occupy your time. And that's all I'm going to say about that. But uh, the video I did at uh, Goodwill, I will uh, I will be. Uh, reloading uh, once I can get it edited. Ooh, look at that truck. Look at that Tonka truck. Hold on, folks. Look at that Tonka truck. Ain't that nice? Well, let's see if I can get it out here. I want to. All the glass is there. This is maybe a stucco. This is a stucco. I don't see some marks. Okay, marks. Marks is okay, but stucco is better. Tonk is even better. Even more, more sought after. Uh, let's see before. I got one hand and three things to hold on to. Okay. So, so yeah, so uh, 
I'm going to be doing videos on stores and antique shops. And uh, for those of you that, like I said, and I may sound a little repetitive, folks, um, but uh, my mind is on uh, looking and trying to talk at the same time. Uh, if you see anything that you that's of interest to you, uh, let me know. And uh, I'll tell you what, uh, over a period of time, I will be probably looking to help many of you um, buy some of the things that I see in the stores. If um, many of you hold... Uh, uh, if many of you that join here and are interested in reaching out and creating some kind of partnership uh, with me, um, I have no problem with coming to this to these places and picking up an item that you've you've requested and helping you get your item. Um, but this particular mall, I've been here before and bought uh, things upstairs, and. Um, absolutely loved love some of the things that are that are in these stores now I have this jar and I was going to sell this jar at my place for five bucks this one is $18 uh, so that's a that's a good deal um, I was only gonna sell mine for five dollars because I picked it up for 50 cents but that ball that ball that ball jar let's see what this is all about this is six dollars. This is nice. That's a very odd. See the rounding, the rounding of this jar. That's very odd. See, look at that jar compared to the one that I'm going to buy. See the one that I'm going to buy and the one that this this one's much older. This one here is much older. Uh, six dollars, I think, is a good price on it. And look at that uh, Boston Red Sox chair. Two hundred dollars. Yeah, some things you're going to find that there's a little high in these stores. These, uh, just an FYI, those of you that look for these glass percolator coffee pots, camping pots, the ones with the with the glass lids, are the glass perks, are very collectible. And this one, this one's plastic, uh, probably not worth five bucks. But if it was a glass percolator, that would absolutely make it worth five bucks. Okay, here's some ball, some ball jar lids. These are hard to come by. Four dollars each. Four dollars because its color is blue. And this one's white. That one's two. So here's a nice copper pot. A little copper pot, not worth eight bucks, but a real nice piece. But folks, there are some really, really nice things that you could buy in these in these uh, in these places here in Central PA. Um, living in New York and living in Pennsylvania, uh, Florida, I can tell you, uh, Pennsylvania has got some of the most, some of the best antique shops in the three, at least the three states, you know, that I've uh, been in. So, um, I'm going to put this on the counter and, um, I'm going to, uh, do another video and I'll make that one part two. But yeah, just some great things here. Great, great things. And and you know what's good about going to a really good quality antique shop like this one is that you can get a good idea of what some of the things that you have, the value of them would be. And so when you do a yard sale or you do an estate sale or you're doing a sale of some kind to just get rid of stuff that you have, this is a great resource this channel is going to be a great resource for many of you that say oh i have one of them um how much are they asking for that and then you know instead of selling your your stuff at home for a dollar or two dollars at your yard sales you may realize that you have some really good finds so this is going to be part one and i will do a part two and uh, many of you, I don't know if you guys are aware of the carnival glass, but carnival glass now is starting to become a big thing now. And so, um, for those of you that have carnival glass at home, don't be so quick to sell it. Do a little research and uh, understand that there are a lot of people like myself 
that are going from house to house, yard sales and garage sales and buying a lot of this carnival glass at a dollar or 50 cents and you know we're making good money on it and so um, why give give away free money okay folks so I'm gonna go upstairs this will be part one and I'm gonna do a part two and go upstairs and do the upstairs